Welcome to Tinky.com Art and Design World, Episode 4. This episode, we visit the Fiber Futures exhibition at the Japan Society in New York City. Vice President of Japan Society and Director of Japan Society Gallery uh, in Midtown Manhattan. And we're in the exhibition Fiber Futures, Japan's Textile Pioneers. Well, I'm standing in front of a curtain by Junichi Arai, who is one of Japan's most senior textile artists. He's 79 years old now. The curtains are colored one side gold by putting on a, a yellow epoxy over the aluminum, and the other side silver by applying a clear epoxy. This piece isn't really so much uh, fiber art, if you like. It's a piece of designer textile. It's by Yu Okano, who works in Tokyo and Brooklyn. And uh, most of her output is, is used by major fashion houses. This one's made out of a mixture of wool and polyester, which is kind of tortured uh, by applying alkali to it. But she can do more conventional things as well. We've also got this uh, corsage. It's a whole collection of hand-formed hand little flowers. They're made out of silk and wool. The wool is felted, it's wet felted. You, you, wet the wool, you wet the wool and you kind of press it and shape it till you've got it just the way you want. Then some of it's stitched and then that's combined with silk and dyed in this beautiful way. And she came here and spent a whole day arranging this so it looks the way it does. A lot of these artists love to experiment with traditional materials. And this is made out of a material called kibiso that's existed for as long as there's been silk, there's been kibiso. Kibiso is the first 15 feet the silkworm produces in its life. This one is made out of silk and gold leaf, and it's meant to be a kind of uh, it's a modern take on traditional Japanese armor, which is often made of, of indeed, of silk and gold. Okay. This big piece is, is called Shape of Red, and it's by Shigeo Kubota. Uh, and he's a, an artist who's been exhibiting in, uh, in Europe since the 1970s. This is another big, big piece by a senior artist who's been exhibiting on this scale since the 1970s. It's called Orbit. It's by Akio Hamatani, and it's made out of rayon dyed with indigo. This little room is Japan Society's bamboo room. It's in the, in the, the middle of the run of galleries, and it's the ideal setting for this extraordinary site-specific installation by Machiko Agano. This is a piece by Emiko Nakano. It's inspired by her visit to Cambodia. And after she got back, she learned that a new kind of, or I should say an old kind of script had been discovered in Cambodia. And she made wood blocks. She carved them with elements of that script and she started printing them on sheets of Japanese paper. Kyoko Ibe is a very well-known uh, artist in the United States. She only works in paper, um, but on such a scale sometimes that she actually does full stage theatrical installations. And this is a piece of, uh, this is kind of recycling raised to a fine art. A traditional shape paper shop near her studio sold all its, all its old stock of paper and she bought it up and decided to use it to create a new kind of painting medium. So she pulverized some of that paper, she mixed it with old documents dating back to the 19th century. And this work by Kyoko Kumai, which is made entirely out of stainless steel wire, uh, looks substantial as it sits on the floor now, but it actually comes packed flat. You just pull the boulders apart and, and uh, there you are. You have your, the building blocks for your, your site-specific installation. I think anyone glancing at, glancing at it who'd been to Japan or seen photographs of Japanese temples would recognize once right away that here we have a sort of contemporary stainless steel version of a Japanese stone garden. So looking at this, you couldn't start to guess what it's actually made out of. It's by an artist called Takaaki Tanaka. Uh, and it's made from, first of all, wire frame, then you have linen thread, and then applied to the linen, linen thread is dyed paper pulp, in, which is kind of splashed on in a sort of random way, so it's thick in some places and thin in others. Thanks for watching Tinky.com Art and Design World, Episode 4. 
Please remember to like us at facebook.com slash Tinky, and you can watch all of our videos at youtube.com slash Tinky Films, and visit Tinky.com.